Hey everybody, it's Tyler here at University of North Dakota Signature at uh, Mall of America. What an incredible event we have. We have an incredible team with us. 334U, Super Noble Redeem, division winners last year in technology. So congratulations to that. Also, uh, VEX AI World Champions as well too. So great season last year for them. And they have an incredible robot, especially here early in the pushback season. They're on their third iteration of a robot already, which I think is pretty nuts. Uh, but a lot of great stuff will be going through on this. This is actually a Lobot, uh, so they have a uh, mechanism that allows them to uh, pop up and down right here on their hood that you'll see, which is really cool. Uh, we'll be breaking down a lot more in regards to this. Uh, some wedges they put on the robot for some defensive play. I'm excited to talk to them more about. And just a lot of great things have gone through this. Let's learn more about them coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Liam, let's break down this robot here. I think one of the big things is being able to go under the goals and building a robot that's able to accomplish that. So talk to me more about uh, some of the uh, methodology it's gone into and just the design for it. Yeah, for sure. So a unique thing on our robot is that we have a piston to lower and raise our hood so that we can go under the long tube right here. And it goes up like this. Uh, this is just important. We want it to be able to go under the long tube because it's something that not a lot of other teams are able to do and we thought it would give us uh, an advantage as far as getting around the field quickly. A cool thing about this is our linkage here that is able to raise up our hood without actually raising up the rest of our scoring mechanism to allow us to score balls on the mid goal and then of course raise it up with that piston so that we can score balls on the long tube as well. And then we mentioned this is your third iteration of a robot already too. So just talk to me about um, on this third iteration, why did you decide to go this way for a robot? Yeah, I mean, this is our third iteration. We had two previous robots before this that were a bit different, but we did a lot of scrimmages earlier in the season. And honestly, we just found that the difference in maneuverability when we were able to go under the bar versus not able to go under the bar, like it was honestly, it was night and day in um, how teams could play defense against us and just the pace that we could move and score during a match. And so we knew um, that that was like absolutely the most important thing we want to focus our robot on. Uh, along with obviously being able to score fastly and with a lot of power into the goal um, and having a quick D-score mechanism was obviously really important, which is what caused us to end up uh, to go with this design. And looking at it, you've played a couple matches here so far at the signature event. Uh, are you still happy with that decision to go with the lower robot, you know, as you've watched the game and some of the meta starts to develop? Yes, I mean, absolutely. I think um, in the last two matches we've played, we've definitely seen that um, being able to go into the bar is just, we think it's the biggest adva advantage there is in this game. Like, um, it just allows us to maneuver the field completely differently to any other robot, and um, allows us to, I think, score in a much more effective way. We have some other great things in this robot we'll be covering. Uh, anything from your uh, descoring mech on here. You got the cool wedges uh, that I really would like to hear more about of. And just a lot of other great things to break down. Tell me more about it. For sure. The first thing that I do want to talk about is our indexer for our balls because we believe it's quite unique. Uh, what this does, it allows us to store our balls without the intake getting jammed. It's this string right here which is pulled by a piston and then when we do want to score we can uh, pull this string away and it allows balls to go through our intake just like that. Next thing is being able to fully descore the center goal. Uh, we believe that this is really important because um, it allows us to make some last second plays at the end of the match to uh, take away their balls as well as their control zone. Essentially how we do this is we run the intake backwards um, and then what that does is it makes the our wheels for our intake go under the bottom polycarbonate of the, of the middle goal and then uh, this goes on top and it just, we enter into the middle tube and it fully descores it. The last, uh, or the other 
thing that I would like to talk about here is our defense wedges. Uh, these are made out of high strength shafts, which we've drilled a hole into and cut at an angle down here so that they don't touch the ground. We made them able to pivot so that when we go for parking, it is uh, they can pivot up so that we can go under or over the um, the barrier for parking. And these, the main thing that these do are is they're very good for playing defense on a lot of bots, especially heavier bots that we wouldn't normally be able to push around. We're able to get under their drive, which can lift them up a little bit. What this allows us to do is it takes their, if they have traction wheels, it takes their traction wheels off the ground so they have less grip on the field, and then they are pushed easier across the field because they don't have as much grip on the floor. And that allows us for when we do have control zones, playing very heavy defense so that we can keep them away from our goals so we can keep our control zones. I want to switch uh, gears just a little bit here. Uh, I loved your guys' reveal video uh, when it came out. For Thank Can you just talk to me a little about uh, the process of creating a reveal video uh, as a team and some of the important aspects that you look for? It Because when I look at you know many reveal videos that come out, you can tell some really pop and some don't as much, but you guys definitely pop. So what are some things that you look for to really make it uh, stand out from the crowd? Yeah. Uh, so a big thing that we did is um, lighting. Having very good lighting is a very important part of the reveal video because it makes your robot kind of stand out with um, with good lighting. It just makes the whole thing look higher quality. And when you have a higher quality looking reveal, it engages viewers a little bit more. Um, also, planning your shots uh, with what you want to show, like prioritize what we want to show. We did our reveal video with Team 471B, who's also from our region, so we collaborated with them to see what we want to show in our reveal. Yeah, I just love, I think the whole timing of you guys and having the two robots, you know, just, it synchronized like the whole time it was just a really cool thing that you put together for that. So this could have sounded a great video and I look forward to future ones too. Uh, Lily, speaking about the future too, let's talk about some future plans. When we were talking earlier, uh, there's a couple things to your robot, uh, not quite ready here for mall, but definitely something you're looking at adding on later. So talk yeah. to me more about that. Yeah, so I mean, one thing we noticed while scrimmaging is that um, in the middle of the match, the balls tend to get a little mixed around. I mean, there'll be areas of the field with just completely mixed uh, blue and red balls. And obviously being able to cycle scoring and score as fast as possible is an incredibly important thing. And so uh, basically our idea is we want to be able to drive through a completely mixed area of balls and only get our color, which is why we worked a lot on our uh, plans for a color scoring mechanism. So the idea is that we can pretty much just run straight into this group of balls and then each uh, wrong color ball will basically be counted uh, using our color sensor and then using distance sensors we will basically be able to flap this little flap in the back open at the correct time to basically let out one or two or however many balls we need to to have the most effective colors from possible. We also decided to have it down here pretty early in our uh, intake as we didn't want our colors to affect the amount of balls we could hold um, by being able to color sort fast enough which is why we decided to put it um, right there. I think another thing too on top of that is uh, you're also, by ejecting them down low, you're mitigating potentially ejecting some out of the field as well too and getting yeah. a penalty for that. So I really yeah, like exactly. the fourth out that's gone into all that too. So uh, Supernova Redeem, uh, once again, congrat congratulations on your successful season last year, extremely successful season last year. Uh, but of course, looking for big things here at Mall. And thanks for taking time to tell us more about your team. It's been great to see you again. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first.